Hey, what's up, my YouTube friends? Welcome to another knife review. So this is model EF125. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel, by the way. This was actually a requested review. One of my viewers, he gave me a super thanks, and he asked if I could review this knife. Well, I like to reward that behavior because we don't get many super thanks on this channel. You know, you see these girls on YouTube trying on skimpy clothing and they get like a hundred dollar super thanks. Well, that ain't this channel, buddy. I'm a gear reviewer. I review gear. But thank you very much for that super thanks, uh, my subscriber. I really do appreciate it. All right. So let's take a closer look. As you can see, it has a lanyard hole. It is full tank construction. Red liners, G10 handle scales, which are available in green or in black. The blade length is 5.5 inches. The steel is 14C28N Sandvik Swedish stainless steel. When I first got the knife, it did require a touch-up, and so I did touch it up using those diamond-coated rods and the Spyderco Sharp Maker, and I also used some fine grit ceramic rods uh, after that, but I touched it up for no more than two minutes. Okay, so this demo is after a two minute touch up. So as you can see, it sharpened up nicely in a short period of time. Here is the sheath. It is a Kydex sheath. As you can see, it has eyelets. It has a quick release belt loop there. So that switch, you push it to the side and you push it in and it unlocks the belt loop. All right, so that's pretty handy. Again, you push it to the side and push it in and it unlocks it. All right, let's see that sheath on the belt. There it is. Now, I am left-handed, so if it was on that side, I would most likely you know, uh, I would pull it out like that. It's just easier. Now, one thing I noticed, the sheath is concealable. Like, if I were to put that under my shirt there, as you can see, it could be concealed. Right? And now, if you had to sit down, the sheath can uh, twist a little bit so it's not going to poke you. But that, that is the sheath. Pretty good. Now, I have a large size hand, so that's the uh, handle, how it fits a large size of hand. Okay, cutting some things with this knife. Got some seat belt type material. I hope you're all doing well these days in these these days of rage, these unprecedented days of, of hardship, of international crisis, of gear reviews on YouTube. All right, it did well on that. Some paracord, I just want to show how easy it is. Yeah, super easy on that. I got a piece of a box. Now this is... I sharpen this myself, so it's quite sharp. You could use it if you forgot your utility knife. You could use it. Here it is, Whitling. Sped this footage up a little bit. But as I said, I hope you're all staying uh, happy and healthy and productive in these tough times. I will continue to try to produce content for you to... Uh, inform you to help you get good gear or just for some good distraction some good entertainment okay well that sharp edge was very good for whittling we got our pointy piece of wood there next up making some kindling sticks with this now the knife is not especially long so there is a limit on how thick of a piece you could baton but i don't know maybe you just wanted to make some kindling sticks or you had to size a piece of wood to carve whatever you need to carve. Uh, it's a pretty strongly constructed knife, definitely. All right, so there's your little kindling sticks. Next up, we've got some food. Now, that is pork belly. I'm a big fan of pork belly. This is a very sharp knife. Could you use it at your camp kitchen? You certainly could. This is good for cutting through meat, organic matter, Maybe you want to process some game. It would also be good at chopping up uh, some greens and veggies if you wanted to add those. Now you see how much fat pork belly has. That's, uh, that's good for ketogenic, ketogenic meals. 
Most keto diets are recommending up to 70% fat, and people have a tough time finding that much fat. Like, they want some foods with some fat. Well, you know, th these would be a good place to start. If you need more fat, just try pork belly. It's basically like bacon. I cook this stuff in the pan, right? I cook it in its own fat. So I kind of cook it like bacon, but it's not good unless you control the portion size, right? But that's how it turned out. So that skin is very crisp and crackling, and it is just very good because that fat adds a lot of flavor. Like I said, it is keto, but you got to watch your portion size. If you're trying to lose weight, you definitely got to control the portions. But it turned out really well, and that was dinner. Final thoughts on this knife. It would make an excellent camp knife, that's what I would say. You see the blade shape is very good for piercing and very good for slicing. This excels at cutting organic matter, whether you're talking about meat or you're talking about whittling wood, carving a tent stake, splitting some smaller pieces of wood, or whether you're slicing through some meat, whether you brought the meat with you or you're processing game. This would just be an excellent and strongly built camp knife. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's a nice intermediate size. But the real benefit of it is that steel. I really like that Sandvik steel. For this price point, I feel like it's an ideal steel. I feel like if you wanted better quality steel, you would usually have to pay significantly more. So in this price range, yeah, that would be... Uh, that would be one of my top choices for steels as well. So good job. This brand offers a lot of value, definitely. And as you saw, this sharpens up really nicely. Basically, two minutes of sharpening or touch-up, and the thing will be very, very sharp. Now, uh, we haven't really talked about weapon usage. You know, YouTube doesn't like us to do that, but just between you and me, you can see how piercing that tip is and then how the blade widens out yes it would be effective in that capacity as well all right so i hope you enjoyed this video under the video i will include lots of links to good gear and resources for you those help the channel and i really appreciate those who use them this has been we all juggle knives i'm out